Also, members of the House of Representatives has resolved to investigate the legality of Chinese nationals living in Nigeria for possible repatriation back to their country. They made a resolution on Tuesday at a resumed plenary following their return from recess, which lasted about five weeks as a result of the outbreak of coronavirus in the country. This followed the poor treatment of Nigerians in China, especially those living in Guazon City. During the plenary presided over by the Speaker of the House, Femi Gbaja Miller, the lawmakers considered a motion on the maltreatment and institutional acts of racial discrimination against Nigerians living in China by the government of China. The lawmakers mandated the House Committees on Interior, Nigeria, content development and monitoring as well as commerce to take up the assignment. And now we're joined by Dr. Wallace Williams, President Africa Goals Development Initiative. Thank you, doctor, for joining us. Thank you. And how are you doing today? I am doing fine. I'm happy to hear what's happening. All right. Now, I, I want to take a quick response to the whole happenings and the house, the, the breaking news by the house and how you react to this. Well, I mean, uh, it seems as though they listened to the television program and the interviews we had uh, a couple of days ago requesting that uh, all uh, Chinese uh, here we look at their papers, their immigration status, and those who do not have any reason to be here, those who are doing illegal mining and uh, here on unemployed and taking the play, uh, place of uh, Nigerians could be employed, should be sent back to their home. And that's an absolutely positive uh, response by the House of Reps. They're doing their job. There have been reports of racial discrimination and poor treatment of Nigerians in China, in spite of several interventions and, and denials. This ill treatment still continues. Why is this so? Well, because, as I said previously, if it comes from the head who directs how people should look at Africa, you can't expect any different from the Chinese populace, who are all communist population, uh, the People's Liberation Army. They have a plan, they have an agenda. The agenda is to try and depopulate uh, Africa and take place uh, of the Africans. Um, they will not stop uh, the discrimination of Africans because they see us as animals, they see us as lesser human beings, and they do not look at us as equal partners in anything. And we have to put a stop to that and also show them that we have the ability, capability, capacity to tell them where to get off. Let's consider the efforts of the Nigerian government in all of this situation. Do you think so far they're doing enough in this regard? Well, they have said, and we have not seen it happen yet, that they are going to put some aircrafts to repatriate all of the Nigerians. At the moment, as you know, in the last two days, Nigerians have been on the street with no money, no food. They're starving. They need to get home. They really do need to get home. And the Nigerian government should move quickly uh, uh, to get our people back home. It, it, is, it is absolutely um, disastrous what is happening to Nigerians and fellow Africans, not just Nigerians. They're on the street begging, and they literally have no money to live, to eat. They're starving. They have sent out a plea to the government, and I think the government uh, said they are acting, and let's see the aircrafts on the ground and start bringing our people back home, and include some of the Africans who could go from here to their countries. Interestingly, you didn't make mention of evacuating Nigerians who are stranded now in China. Members of Nigeria's House of Representatives have urged government to urgently begin the evacuation process of all Nigerians who have tested negative to COVID-19 in China and are also willing to return home. Well, this is not of a stretch available facilities right here at home. Well, no. I mean, at the moment, we only have, what, a thousand cases. They have already got, they said, 500 test kits um, uh, that's available, and they're getting more. Um, I think right now we should be able to cope. If you bring, back, bring them back to Lagos, I understand that the government is doing a good job of asking hotels to keep them in isolation, uh, as isolation centers, and they will start the uh, process of uh, quarantining and testing. So uh, uh, Nigeria and Lagos State and uh, the other states on the lockdown, Ogun State and uh, Abuja, seem to be very receptive to getting our people back and testing them and making sure that they're back home and safe. Dr. Wallace, it's been a pleasure having you join us on News on the Hour, and thank you for your contribution. It is uh, my pleasure. Let's get it done. Let's get it moving.